Welcome back everybody, uh, Joe here again. Uh, today we're going to talk about another Python error you might come across uh, when you're doing a data analytics project. That's how to fix value error columns must be the same length as the key. So I've been working away um, over the last while a couple of things and uh, working with data frames and this common error you'll see with data frames. And essentially what we're going to do is take you through this issue here. There's two scenarios we're going to do. One with just these lists here. And then the second scenario is where we have some, um, we want to split a list that is a string into three columns and the same error appears. So I'll take you through that in a second. But let's go through the error anyway. So as you can see, columns must be say length is key. So what's going on here? Um, I think it's good to actually explain this error is actually go down to an example, what we're going to do, take it through the code and then explain how to fix it. So we have here scenario one, we have our Import pan is P, PD is normal, so that's that's all fine. We have two lists here, list one and list two. Uh, within list two, obviously, there's uh, two lists there. Okay, basically, we have two lists, and then what we've done is we've converted those to two data frames, right? So we have data frame one and data frame two. Very straightforward at this point. And what you're trying to do is so we're trying to get some output where we can see this data lined up beside each other. Okay. And to do that, you have to have the same amount of columns um, uh, in, within the logic to basically it bring in the data and then basically say, okay, we have the data, we can align this data up and it's in the columns that we want. But if you don't program the columns right or put in the correct references to the columns we want, you're going to get this error. So how does it happen? So let's go down and take a very simple example here. We, as I said, we have these lists and we have data frame one and data frame two. And basically what's happening here is we're going to do uh, here called data frame one, open bracket, open bracket, A, um, a close bracket equal to data frame two. So what's this doing? Essentially what it's doing is we're basically saying that data frame one um, is going to be in the output and then we're going to have an additional column called A and that's going to be equal to values that's in DF2. Now, your problem here is, and this is where the problem occurs is, we know that data frame two has more than one column. So you see here, we're gonna have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're gonna have more columns in the output than we're actually telling it, telling it it should expect. So in this scenario, because we have A here, we only have one column but in actual fact, it's given us in three sets of data, okay? So therefore, then we have three columns of data coming in. As a result, this these two sides don't match each other because it's basically saying we're going to print out whatever is in a DF1, which you know is just one column, and then it's saying print out A here, which equates to the columns over here in DF2, but we know DF2 will have three columns. So in essence, there's an inequality, if you want to put it that way, between the two sides. And what you gotta do is basically, to get rid of this problem down here, is you basically gotta say, let's, let's tell it that there's actually, we're expecting three columns in with data, and therefore when it brings in the data and we rerun this logic with the correction, it sees that there's three columns, it doesn't give the error. So if I comment this out, okay, all right, and we go down here. So before we rerun the logic, we're basically going to look at this line here. So what I've basically done here is I've basically said, I've called it DF1 again. So DF1 is just going to be the column that lists these values. And then you're going to have DF2, DF2 which is this here, which is all the values of column two, column three, column four, which is these values up here. Okay, and what we're basically saying is we have DF1, which we know is okay, because we that's fine, but we're basically saying that we're gonna be sending over to this three piece, three columns of data, and we're gonna put them into column A, column B, column C. So now we have three pieces of data here, and I'm gonna put it into column A, column B, column C. So when we rerun this logic, I'll just do this now. Just give me a second. So there you go. In this scenario now, what has happened is it's got the list one, which we know is the F1, and it's this bit here. And it's basically brought the data in and essentially uh, populated it into this 
into this column one here okay so that's column one here and then what we basically said um, we've renamed these as column a column b column c to distinguish them but essentially what now it's done is it's then it has in the output put column a column b column c and then it's brought in these values four five six seven eight nine okay so the reason we have nine just to sh now show you here is that we actually this is one row this is two row but we don't have a third row but it's not worried about the third row because it's basically saying we don't we're not looking for that we're more interested in the columns to make sure that we have a right, right number of columns to store the data that we're sending over from df2 so that's a typical scenario you might come where you're trying to amalgamate in the output two data frames but on one side of the equation you don't have the correct number of columns matching the data being sent in from the other side of the equation from the other data frame so just to recap we basically have column a column b and c and that's because we have this is column it goes into well this goes here it's four it's four and seven and then because there's no because there's no um, additional list here it's just going to be none then it's five eight into column b and then six and nine into column c and that's what the program's expecting but let's look at a separate and different scenario quite similar it will give the same error and it will basically to do when we're splitting a string uh, um, a piece of data and we want to put it again into output into three columns how this error might occur with that and then how we can fix it so let's have a look at that now right so we're here with scenario two and uh, pretty similar to the last scenario but we're uh, approaching um, the actual creation of the columns is less slightly different but the it's the same concept so we have a thing called a new list here and it's a string so it's one two and three and there's a space between it okay and what we've done again is we're basically saying we're going to put that into a data frame and basically give put it into column one so if i re well actually i won't rerun this because it's going to still give the error so what's basically happened here again is we're getting the same value error columns must be the same length as key so what's going on here right so pretty similar to the last scenario we have a new list here and we're saying it's equal to this other this new list column one but the split of these three values so what this basically piece of logic here is doing is it's going splitting this out based on at each point where there's a space that's the new value that it's splitting it out on so it goes to one it says that's the first value it's going to the first column there's a space okay that's gone in there then it finds two so two is going to the next column space and three is going to the third column okay and it basically that's what it's essentially doing and like the last one it's amalgamating it all so that it shows in the output the problem is we're getting this error again all right and it's exactly like the last last scenario we're basically seeing the fact that we don't on the left hand side to receive the data from this split the correct number of columns that actually should be there so in this instance we have column one so it's basically receiving in the first value but it has nowhere to put two and three into a column so like the last scenario what we're going to do and we'll do it now is we're going to say if you put in column two and we'll just say column three okay so now what we have i'll just get rid of that spelling mistake my apologies now what we have is we have the new list okay that and we're basically saying it's going to go to column one column two column three but it's the split of that right so essentially it's saying as i said split this out as you find each one where there's a gap that's the new value that we want to split out and basically put into a column on its own so when we run this now if i just run this okay this should come up in a second perfect so now as you can see what we have is we have three columns column one column two column three is what we're expecting and because we've done the split on the new list through using this these values here this bit of logic it's basically taken each one and said all right column one it says oh we have a column to put that into so we'll put it into column one then it goes there's a space it says oh so the next value of two we need to put that on column it says oh it has value of column two and then there's a space it says oh the last value we have three and then it says oh actually we have a column in here in column three we can put that into that therefore the inequality, there's no inequality between both sides of the equation regards the number of columns required 
it prints it out with no errors. So that is in essence how you would fix the value error columns must be the same length as key. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video today. I'm plenty more videos coming. I've been quite busy over the last while, so apologies if I've been a bit delayed in some of these videos, but I'll keep them going. The channel is 100% keep going and more to do, plenty to do. Lots, lots of ideas that I'm going to be working on over the next while to bring you some useful projects and fixes to any issues you may have in any of your data analytics projects. So thanks for coming along. Chat to you soon. Take care and goodbye.